What's up, YouTube? It's PZ Asking here. I've been on a bit of a Zippo kick lately, and um, I figured that some of my people who subscribe to my channel for my technology videos have been kind of getting a little bit depressed and sad. So I decided I would actually make an iMac update video because, well, A, you know, like I said, I haven't made a lot of technology videos, but more importantly, B, I haven't made a lot of Apple videos lately, so. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I'm going to make an update on my iMac because I actually do have a plan for this and I would like to explain it to you all. Alright, so first of all, one little update. Um, I did go ahead and, um, you know, since we've moved, we uh, kind of, you know, since we've moved um, into this new house, we uh, kind of use the computers a little bit differently. And um, the wired keyboard that I was using with the uh, desktop computer, well, that computer isn't being used much. So, I went ahead and swapped out the wireless keyboard for the, uh, the wired keyboard, and it is so much better in my opinion. Um, it boots into safe mode reliably every single attempt, it always will boot in safe mode just fine. Um, the reason why I have to boot in safe mode is again because of its, uh, its little graphical problem. If you want to know about that, well this is like a little mini series, so just find another video on Find another iMac update video, and you should be um, enlightened. So, <clears throat> anyway, yeah. Um, now getting into the actual update type things. So, as y'all might know, um, I have a graphics card issue. Now, if I go over to this um, Apple menu and about this Mac software updates, why is it all over there? <laughs> um, Get over there. There we are. I guess I'm still used to the PC thing in that it changes to an error when you mouse over to resize it. Um, the current graphics card that uh, is in here now, the one that's stock, is the NVIDIA GeForce 8800 GS, as you can see. So, yeah, the, eh, there it is. So, um, that's the one that it came with. Come on, which one's. Alright. So, that's the graphics card I'm sporting right now. All right, and that graphics card has a notorious, um, what's the word? I'm forgetting words a lot these days. Um, it has an infamous, infamous, um, it has a reputation of failing. How about that? Um, it has a pretty, uh, it ha its design is a uh, kind of high failure rate. Um, a lot of people who have this model iMac, the early 2008 24-inch uh, with the NVIDIA GeForce 800GS um, IMAX, around the same time, uh, around, you know, around about the same time, this one I think happened a little bit earlier than the others, uh, a lot of people's experience uh, this problem in June, uh, you know, June, July-ish of, uh, I think actually last summer, uh, this one last January started acting up, maybe around, maybe December 2010, maybe late 2010, early 2011 is when it started acting up. Um, so, uh, it's held up a little bit longer than most other people's, but what happens is that, see, I'm the third owner of this iMac, and the original owner bought this for one purpose, and that one purpose was to play some shooter game. I think it was Modern Warfare Free. I don't really know. They're all the same to me. Um, but they wanted to play this one game. So that one, there's a nice big screen that they could use to play it on. Now, this is, I'm just saying this from memory. I'm, you know, my friend told me this when he sold it to me. So, yeah, anyway. Um, so he did that for about two years, and then it failed on him. So he gave it to my, to, um, one of my friends for free. All right, I actually believe this guy was, uh, I don't even know. <laughs> the story that he told me about this iMac has changed a little bit some. Like, at first, I thought he said it was his uncle's iMac, then he said it was his girlfriend's uncle's iMac. I have no idea. Um, actually, I don't even think it belonged to an uncle. It might have... I don't even know. It's weird. Basically, it got passed on to him, um, and he just found himself not using it, so he eventually, um, knowing my interest in Apple and that I've been wanting a Mac and that I've expressed that um, through various rants and raves and just downright sheer anger statuses at Windows on Facebook, um, he eventually just sold it to me for a very reasonable price. Um, so, yeah. 
Um, where am I going with this? Oh yeah, I was explaining to you what the issue was, but then I got into how I got the iMac. Oops. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's what the issue is. Um, lots of gamers have uh, experienced this issue. Gamers only. A lot of people, I don't think anybody who just uses it for like standard word processing computer or computing needs who has the same model with the same configuration have this problem yet. I don't know if they are, you know, but anyway, I guess they're just lasting longer because they're a lot less uh, workloads. So, all right. Um, that's, sorry about how, um, I got off topic into uh, how I actually got it instead of what I was meaning to talk about, which is the issue. Um, now, that is the issue, and I'm, you know, I've kind of, you know, I've got, I've had it since, um, summer of last year, um, summer 2011, actually right at the beginning of summer 2011, like summer break. Um, I got it like a week or two after school and did, so it was pretty cool. Um, like school let out at least. So, yeah, I've had it since then, and it's now January 22nd, 2010, as you can probably see right up here. So, yes. Um, yeah, so I've had it for that long, and um, I, I've been, you know, I, I haven't really forgotten about fixing it, you know, because I've been actually, this is, you know, again, I've been able to use this a lot in safe mode. Um, but... Here's the thing. As y'all know, um, I am saving up for a laptop right now. All right, that is going to come first. So this is basically my plan because I do have a plan now, and I'm hoping to get it. I'm I'm pretty dang certain this will be you know fixed and you know everything will be working right. I'll have a new graphics card in it either very towards the end of the school year or a little bit after the end of the school year. I don't know when it's gonna happen. Hopefully it'll happen maybe in the middle of this semester, I don't know, we'll see, but, um, yeah, I'm planning to get this thing fixed either before or just after school has ended, um, for the year, or school is let out, you know, for summer break and such, so, um, as y'all know, I want to get a laptop, that is, um, what my biggest, um, concern is at the moment, is getting a laptop, so I'm going to get that first, I hope to get that hopefully around the beginning of next month, um, so I'll be able to make videos and stuff like while we're on trips. You know, I always say that I'm going to do a beach vlog and then I never do. Well, if I have my laptop out, I'll be able to edit it like while I'm there and then be able to upload it while I'm there. I think that just makes more sense. But anyway, um, yeah, I want to get a laptop before the end of the school year because I won't have a laptop after the end of the school year because my school laptop, which is what I'm using now, will be back with the school. So that'll be a very sad moment for everybody. Except for people who don't like this channel, but anyway, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, so after I get the laptop, I will then start worrying about this. Yes, I will start focusing on this thing. Um, let me show you here. See, if you might remember, I, I made a video uh, a while ago, I don't know if it was still in the summer or not, about uh, where I basically demonstrated what the problem was with this thing. And somebody came on there, a very helpful person came on there, and said that uh, they actually recommend that I look into getting a new graphics card, obviously. And then they told me one in particular that seems to be working well for other people. And that would be this thing. Look at that thing. This is the ATI Radeon, um, I want to say 2600 Pro. You know how it didn't say HD? This is not like a high performance graphical gaming card or anything. Um, it's actually a bit outdated, too. Um, but, you know, it, it works. It's a good substitute for the uh, NVIDIA GeForce one. And here's the thing. Well, actually, all right, I don't know why I said it that way, but in, the other thing about it is is that, you know, it is a bit of a slight downgrade from the uh, NVIDIA GeForce in terms of gaming and uh, maybe some other things. I don't really need this iMac for playing. I'm, to be honest with you guys, I don't play a lot of computer games, like on the computer games, you know, PC games, if you know, uh, because I just, I can't, I don't like controlling games with the mouse. I mean, it's just, to me, you want a controller, all right? The controller is the way to go, like, you know, with controlling video games, which actually, I just now realized, Apple should make a controller. Hmm. I don't know. I just now thought that Apple doesn't have a controller yet. I don't know. Anyway, um, not that they'll do that, because they're trying to get rid of all those things, but we'll see. Anyway, um, yeah, so anyway, this is the card, and as you can see, it looks pretty sexy in this photo. I don't know if it'll look, if mine, the one that I get, will look exactly like this, but here is, um, 
on TigerDrag.com, same card, and as you can see, it looks a little different. But check out this price. Yes. Can you see that? Oh, oh yeah, you certainly can. $79 with free shipping, might I add? That is pretty good. Um, even and, and I know it is a slightly outdated card, and I actually find it for even cheaper on eBay, but I just... I want to show you TigerDrag.com because, well, why not? <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, it's the same card. It looks a little different. But it's the same thing. You can see right here, HD Radeon. Or Radeon HD. Actually, it is an HD. Never mind. HD Radeon HD 2600 uh, Pro. It's kind of blurred, but you might be able to make that out. I, can, I was able to read it off the card a little bit. So, anyway, that's that. So, yeah. Isn't that really exciting? It's really cheap. Now, here's the other really neat thing. See, since we've moved, obviously, we've moved a little bit closer to town, and there is a computer repair shop. I'm not kidding. If I were to walk there, it would probably take me about five minutes just to walk there. Uh, it's really stinking close. And they have, seem to have, they have a really nice policy type thing. And, you know, I'll have to research this, look into this further, but from what I've, they've told me, because I've went in there to ask them what, you know, they could do about fixing an iMac, um, they said that they charge about 40 to $50 for uh, service, but after the thing gets serviced, they'll refund it with, in, along with giving you the computer and such. I'm pretty sure I would have to pay for the new part uh, myself, which, you know, would make sense. I don't know. Maybe I'd have to pay a little bit more or something just for as a tip. You know, so I'd probably have to pay my tip if, I, if they're not going to be able to do that. So, I don't know. But yeah, that's really cool. I really like that. So I'm definitely going to give them a shot and hopefully they'll be able to do it. Um, if there's some crazy fine text or loophole that comes up, I'll um, I'll probably look into other options. Um, my uncle told me that he could maybe have it looked at over where he lives. Um, I would hope that I do not have to service this thing myself. This, uh, you know, obviously this is a 24 inch screen. I am not a professional computer service repair person thing. Um, even though I'm taking computer classes, <laughs> I'm just, I'm not there yet. I'm not at that level of working on computers. And this is a 24 inch model and that will be a beast. You know, the flat panel will be a beast to lift out and, you know, actually I've heard it takes two people. Not that it's too heavy because I, mean, I could pick the thing up, but because it's just so big that, you know, you need two people to get it out properly. You need one person to hold it up and then the other person takes out the cables and such. And, you know, obviously in the reverse process, you need... Anyway, yeah, it's just ridiculous. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'm hoping I can get it done professionally, so we'll see about that. Um, anywho, yeah, I think that's about it. So, I'm hoping to get this thing fixed by the end of uh, the school year, if not a little bit after or a little bit before. Oh, <laughs> apparently there's a YouTube video there. <laughs> um, yeah, YouTube videos show up as holes. Like, you can see through my desktop, but, yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, never mind. Um, yeah, anyway. That's pretty much that. Um, so just thought I'd give you guys an update on this thing. Um, remember, uh, that if you're interested in... This is, again, on the topic of Zippos. If you're interested in entering my Zippo giveaway here, um... You know, there should be a link in the description to that video if you want to enter it. Um, and I think I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to end that in about a week. I forgot to mention that in that video, but I think I'm going to end that in a week. And it might be international. I have no idea. It depends on, like, the shipping costs. Hopefully it will be able to be international. We'll see. It's not like it's a very heavy product. Um, if it were heavier, it would probably have to be U.S. restricted, but... Um, you know, since it's just a Zippo and maybe a few other extraneous things that I decided to throw in there that won't weigh a lot, like, I don't know, um, it should, I, I'm, it, I don't see a reason why it couldn't be international, it's just, unless we just, for some reason, should be this incredibly high, uh, then we'll see. Anywho, that is about it, so I'm going to go ahead and go now, so thanks for watching. And adios.